Hello and welcome to another x 11 video. Today we are back in the Zebo mod for the x 11 737. Uh, this is version 3.10 Oscar, which is an alpha release. Um, the latest stable release, I believe, is 3.06 something or other. Uh, anyways, we will be flying Ryanair uh, 664 service from Dublin over to Birmingham in the UK. So Dublin, Ireland to Birmingham or Birmingham rather in the UK. Should take us under an hour to fly. Did all the planning and sim brief as I usually do. Uh, the plane is loaded, aligned and turned on but we've got to do all of the programming and then we will be ready to get underway. We are on the ground here at the new uh, Aerosoft Dublin, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure if these are if these statics are from the airport, although given that there's a United CRJ there, I would say that those are probably the X-plane statics. Uh, but it is a wonderful looking airport. Uh, Really, really fantastic airport. I'm a big fan. Uh, anyways, we can go ahead and hop in the flight deck and get going. We will, we will be flying to UK 2000's uh, Birmingham scenery, which is available for X-Plane. So, in the flight deck, we will go ahead and start the APU. We'll take a fuel pump. And we'll start the APU. There we go. Route, we will be... Echo... Yeah, Delta... I can't remember what W is. EIDW2 EGBB. We'll execute that. And we are Ryanair 664. Our route, our second page of the route, rather, will be Dexon. Then the Y one two four. I don't have any idea if this is correct. I just put in what Simbrief gives me to imp it. That's that done. Our departure out of Dublin will be off of 28 via the Dex 1 Alpha, which I'm pretty sure that that can't be drawn correctly, but that's fine. Uh, I mean, maybe it. No, there's no way. Anyways, our arrival into Birmingham will be the Chaz 2 Delta. On to the uh, ILS for for three three, and I do not actually know what to put in for that transition. I'll take a look at that later. Anyways, that's us all programmed in and everything. We do our performance data. Simbrief gave us final reserves of 3.2. We'll just stick with 3. A cost index of 65, apparently. No way Ryanair flies with a cost index of 65. And a cruising altitude of 290, where the wind average is 350 at 27 knots. And the ISO deviation is 4 degrees Celsius. Alright. For limiting, I do not have takeoff data calculated, so we'll just stick with that. We'll go flat 5. We'll get our trim. And there are our V speeds. We'll put 147 in the MCP. 
I will zoom instead of scroll the knob. We will put 290 in for our cruising altitude. We are flying with X Enviro weather today, which should be good. Transponder's good to go. The trim I will do in a moment. Switch to APU power, lose ground power. Take the rest of the fuel pumps. We can set up the pressurization panel. I need to look up the landing altitude. I do not know what it is. Do the rest of that stuff after engine start. Let's see. I'll look up all that stuff once we are in the air that I need to find out. But I am eager to get going. Alright, I have already planned the pushback and everything, so we'll just get rid of the ground services. There are no doors to open or close. Better push back. We can go ahead and start the push. We'll go ahead and take a beacon just so that we are ready for that. While we wait on him, I will look up some details for us for Birmingham. I have a very good friend who lives in Birmingham. I have been there once. But we were just driving through on our way to someplace else. I believe we were on our way to Wales. Well, let's see. Air elevation is 339 feet, so we'll put in 300. And... Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. The ILS... 3 3. We'll do a road transition. We will start the transponder, even though I'm pretty sure those are not the rules in the UK. Take the packs off, and we will start engine number two. This is with the AudioBird XP FMOD sound pack. Fuel on two. We have starter cutout on two and start number one. Starter cutout on one. Go ahead and bring the packs back. Lose APU bleed. Switch to engine generators and lose the APU. Should have turned the passenger signs on earlier, but I did not. Electric hydraulics 
probe and window heat and the yaw damper. That is everything up there done. Take flap five, arm LNAV and VNAV. The barrel or the QNH I have already set. Right now this side does not work. I mean I'm pretty sure it will display a terrain radar because that's another plugin that doesn't work for anything else at the moment. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Set the brake. Let them disconnect the tow truck. Connecting tow. Stand by. Should have hit the pushback clock. Wait on that hand signal. Everything is looking good. Trim of 5.54. Whoa. Odd. All right. So he's on his way out of here. We'll wait on the hand signal. Not sure what that weird view change was when I was adjusting trim. I think something may have become. Oh, well, it seems to be fine. I don't don't know. Let's see. And there he is with the signal. Take the taxi light, and we will start our taxi. There will be links to the sceneries I'm using in the video description, as well as links to a bunch of other informative pages, should you care to check those out. Uh, the other things that are linked there, or at least uh, mentioned, are the songs that I use in the videos, and, and all that sort of information is in the video description. Uh, but, if you want to ask me a question via comment or offer any feedback or whatever, that is certainly welcome. So feel free to do so.
We have almost made it to runway 28. So we will go ahead and go to continuous on the engine mission. We've got the weather radar on, QNH is set. We'll run this range out a little bit. a real mess of taxing here. Should have already armed auto throttle. We'll hit one, one, which is not actually the way you do toga, but will work for our purposes. Flaps one, two rather. Flaps one. Flaps up. And we will hand it over to the autopilot. Shut the gear off, shut the ignition off, lose the taxi light, lose retractable landing lights. And that is us, off out of Dublin.
All right, welcome back. We are getting close to top of descent. Uh, I've only just stopped recording the time lapse portion of the climb. That's what happens when your flight is roughly 45 minutes long. So down at the FMC, we will take full flaps for landing, and we will go ahead and grab the LS frequency in the course. So that was. 110.10 or 110.10. We will set that in both sides. Done, and the course is 328 degrees. We will set in both sides. And since we are flying offline today, we are cleared to do whatever we want, which means we will go with VNAV path all the way down to 2,000 feet. We will put 2,000 feet into the MCP. And now, when we cross top of descent, the plane will start its descent on its own, which is how the Zebo mod plane handles placebo mod for the 737 handles that. So, all that's done, and I will come back when we are on the final. Oh, how to break two. So why not? And uh, I'll see you when we are on final. We're just turning final into Birmingham. Go ahead and arm approach mode so that it will pick up the localizer and the glide slope.
Now I adjusted the course to the localizer to 327 degrees, which is what the chart shows. We'll see how that plays out. We'll go gear down. That's two and five. It over since it flew right through the localizer. And since we're a little high, we'll go into level change. Leave the speed at 180. No, level change. Level change. Or not. So, what we'll do here, since I'm not sure what I've done wrong, but it won't do what I want it to do. Take the autopilot out. director because that is just annoying at this point. Speed brakes are armed. Flaps 15. Flaps in. A little hard, but from what I hear, that is how Ryanair does it. Go ahead and start the APU. And we're getting the takeoff briefing because I turned the taxi light on because that's how the uh, sound pack works right now. You can turn that off and do some do some clever things to disable it, but I completely forgot to do that. Your speed brakes are in. Now, as I was saying, I have no idea where Ryanair parks, so we are just going to take an open stand. Also, lose the strobe. We can stop our airtime clock, so 29 minutes runway to runway. 
here at 46 minutes overall so far. Switch to APU electrics so that I don't uh, forget to do that before I shut the engines off. There's the weather radar, there's the other flight director. Always good to get a safety briefing on the landing. Uh, anyways, uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, you will find links in the video description to all sorts of useful information, so definitely check those out. Uh, other than that, we'll just take one of these uh, first stands to our left. Now I am a little sad that this plane, this airport does not support the uh, built-in statics feature. Uh, that that is certainly disappointing. But other than that, it is another very good-looking airport. engines one and two. Everything is in good shape here. We can use the transponder. Take APU bleed to keep the cabin nice and cool. Lose the beacon. There you go, 49 minutes, gate to gate. This has been Ryanair 660, 664, goodness, uh, service from Dublin to Birmingham. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.